Hypogeum of Crispia Salvia The painted tomb of Crispia Salvia, which was discovered in 1994, is the most important monument of the necropolis of Lilibeum and is currently also the only one of its kind in Sicily for the rich pictorial decorations that completely cover the walls. The tomb consists of a large underground trapezium-shaped burial chamber of about 25 square meters and is accessible by a narrow entranceway, Dromos Corridor, and steps carved into the rock. The walls of the room have six cabinet tombs within niches, four of which have painted decorations on the walls, whereas the other two, situated in arcos soliums, remain undecorated. The floor is covered with a very thin resin layer. A small altar to perform religious rites and to honor the deceased was placed in the center. There are four circular cavities carved into the floor plan, which correspond to four of the tombs. The entire room's lower exterior perimeter facade is painted red. What makes the discovery particularly interesting is the use of lively, intense polychromes in the figurative scenes and decorative motifs. The most interesting subjects are painted in the niches of the two graves to the right and front of the entrance. The central wall is decorated with five male figures walking to the right in the direction of a seated musician, playing a double-reeded aulos flute. Each of the five figures in the procession are bareheaded and resting one arm on the shoulder of the man preceding him. The background is decorated with red flowers. The two short sides of the niche are uniformly decorated with red flowers, alluding to the Garden of Eden. On the left, a banquet scene is painted with the same male figures seated around a horseshoe table drinking red wine from glass cups. In the center of the scene, in front of the table, there is a trapeza, a three-legged table with a cup of red wine on it. To the north of the burial chamber opposite the entrance, there is the tomb of Crispia Salvia, which takes its name from the inscription discovered underground. A clay tablet with a Latin inscription is nailed to the upper left of the central wall. Unfortunately, it was broken at an unknown time in the past, when the tomb was violated by robbers, so it is not possible to document the tomb's items. This inscription, dated the 2nd century AD, indicates the name of the deceased Crispia Salvia, who died about 45 years of age, to which her husband, Julius Demetrius, dedicates the inscription that recalls how sweet was his wife, Uxori Dulcissime, with whom he lived for 15 joyful years, Libenti Animo. Only part of the tomb's epigraph is visible. The other is exhibited in the Regional Archaeological Museum of Marsala Lilibeum. On the same wall as the epigraph, just right of center, two cupids are depicted holding up a garland of red flowers, from which green ribbons hang. A peacock, characterized by a crown of feathers on its head, is depicted to the left of the niche, while to the right there is a peahen surrounded by ten pomegranates. Both of the figures are rendered in profile, facing the entrance of the room and resting on calathos or baskets of flowers and fruit. The richness of the paintings testify to the high social rank of the Julius Demetrius family. On the west wall of the chamber, in quadrangular niches, two peacocks are symmetrically opposed holding a garland. A calathos, framed by two festooned garlands carefully arranged, completes the scene. Finally, on the same side, you can see a calathos with a white dove in profile, with red flowers. The hypogeum, dating back to the 2nd century AD, continued to be used in the next century and even in the 4th, which can be traced by the two Arcosolium tombs, the last of which is housed in the east wall of the Dromos. Mm -hmm.